Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today, I'll rate all the season 1 fights of Kamado Tanjiro. The protagonist of the anime Demon Slayer. Well it's not like you still doesn't know him and the anime if you click this video. Just a few words before we start. This rating video is based on my own take, view, and enjoyment. Feel free to comment your own rating in the comment section but respect each other's opinion okay? Also please don't spoil others for Tanjiro's future fights up to the end of the manga. Don't be an asshole. So hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. Now let's get started. For this fight, I'll rate it 4 over 10. This is the fight where the creator of the manga let us know how far is the difference of a level 100 character versus a level 1 character in their world and what is the achievable power the protagonist could get in the future so we could look forward on it. However in this fight, I didn't see much the difference. Giyu just simply dodged or swat away Tanjiro's rock throws and then knocked him out which can be surely be done by a member of a demon slayer ranked below a Hashira. The only notable thing about him being strong is to notice Tanjiro's flying axe before it hit him. But still, we know how strong the demons are especially the members of Muzan's 12 Kazuki. And for someone specialized in fighting these kinds of demons, Giyu let his guard down to be able to get too close to death when in fact he is not fighting a demon. I can't give him a consideration for restraining Nezuko during the fight as he can easily do everything with one hand. On the other hand, Tanjiro's axe throw could have killed a Mizunoto or level 1 demon slayer. That is if they are demon lunch characters. But the way of his fight feels bland for me. That is my take anyway. The author wants us to support Tanjiro in emotional way for his determination to protect Nezuko rather than a promising strong demon slayer. Even Giyu concluded their fight that Tanjiro and Nezuko's bond could possibly make a breakthrough with the human and demon relationship rather than seeing Tanjiro as someone who can surpass him. This is in contrast to most shonen protagonist first fight and such I give the fight a four tenths instead of three or below for the author's ballsy choice. Wait, she's a female right? I called him Demon X because he didn't got a name in the anime. But I don't know if he got one in the manga so feel free to let me know in the comment. Now I know this is supposed to be a tag team of Nezuko and Tanjiro against Mr. Demon X but I still want to include this here. So this is Tanjiro's first fight against a demon, sort of, because he is not fighting Nezuko in episode 1 with an intent to kill but rather to defend himself and subdue her after becoming a demon. For this fight, I'll give it a 4 over 10 as well. The highlight of this fight is to introduce Nezuko's resistance to human meat and her strength as a demon. On Tanjiro's end, this is our first introduction to his rock-hard headbutt, which is nothing new for some shonen protagonist who also headbutt their opponents. This fight also continues showing Tanjiro that he can think outside the box during a life and death fight to defeat his enemy. However, Nezuko is still a big factor in this fight and it showcases her as a strong ally rather than a liability to Tanjiro. So I skipped to this demon instead of raiding the two fodder Tanjiro first fought in the Wisteria Forest and Sabito. Why? Because the demons only got one slash and then they're done. And Sabito just picked a fight with Tanjiro to motivate and help him to train. But if you're insisting then I'll rate them 4 over 10 for the demons. 2 points for each of them and 3 over 10 for Sabito. Now back to Tentacle Hands and no, I do not know his name as well. He likes that nickname anyway. He'll rate his fight with Tanjiro with 6 over 10. This for me is the first meaningful fight for Tanjiro. This is not like the other's demons that Tanjiro happens to across with and then has to fight for his life. This is a fight that Tanjiro chooses himself. It even gave meaning for him when he learned that Tentacle's hands killed Sabito and Makomo. This fight also fully display the result of Tanjiro's training for two years which has been wonderfully animated by UFO Table. Those water effects on Tanjiro's skill were like moving painting. I first baffled my mind thinking where those waters is coming from. And then I realized that it was just an added effect to make the fight looks more interesting. I mean if the water effect is absent, demon slayers would look like a normal samurai anime with fantastical enemies. This is Tanjiro's first fight as an official demon slayer. 
Much like with Mr. Demon X, this fight is a tag team of Tanjiro and Nazuko but this time, Tanjiro did most of the job specially with killing the triplet. I'll rate this fight with 5 over 10. Yes, it is lower than Mr. Tentacle Hands. While the triplet has much cooler ability rather than tentacle hands which is to submerge into their own shadow and travel underground, they stop there. The fight could have a creative fight scene with their ability but sadly, they got into their heads that their ability is enough already. Tanjiro and Nezuko simply dodged their attacks from their shadow. The main characters even have a handicap to protect two people. I'm also not impressed with Tanjiro's sixth form. Whirlpool. Well it is just my brain not feeling satisfaction with the way the demon got cut. No bad feelings Tanjiro. Finally, a demon that I'm looking for. He may have one technique but he use it effectively and in various way. I'm rating this fight 7 over 10. Although Tanjiro is defensive in this fight to avoid losing his limbs or getting flat to the ground, he also uses his quick thinking to minimize his damage and also counter Yahaba's technique to land a finishing move. I also got concerned with Tanjiro from Yahaba's last attack. The author could have used it for Tanjiro lose a limb but luckily for him the arrows did not pull him in all direction at once. The only downside here is that Tanjiro still received help from Nezuko and Yushiro. This is one of the best fight in this season. Definitely 9 over 10. UFO Table's use of CGI in this fight is superb and doesn't hinder the fight scene unlike other anime. It actually help it instead. They definitely presented Kyogai's technique very well and even Tanjiro can't help but admire it. Yahaba and Kyogai are both long-range demons and uses their techniques to prevent anyone to close their distance. But unlike with Yahaba, Tanjiro cannot use Kyoga's technique against him and instead used his experience with evading Kyoga's attacks to learn Turbulent. Not much sword slashing in this fight but it is still mesmerizing to watch. The only fist fight in this season. A refreshing fight indeed after the previous ones. It deserves 8 over 10 for me. I don't know why but I find fist fights much more entertaining to watch than sword fights. Except the fights in Dragon Ball where their fists blurs when they fight. This fight gave us a glimpse of Tanjiro's fighting ability without his sword which definitely helpful when certain situation arises. This fight also cement Inosuke's trait as a hot-headed fight-craving character. I'll look forward to future fist fight in the anime in there are any. No spoiler please. What could I say anymore? The episode that made Demon Slayer trending in Twitter. 10 over 10. This fight combined all the good parts of the previous fights. The animation, the choreography, the music, the emotion and bond of our main characters that they shared in this fight. UFO table went all out and they did not disappoint. Unlimited budget works. Well we can say that Nezuko saved Tanjiro protecting him and also using her blood arts to give Tanjiro an opening plus Mama Ghost helped as well. Also adding that Giyu is the one who finished Rui but who cares anymore right? It's a wonderful family bond so hug your siblings and parents now. Do it. Well that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. See you next time.